the sweetness in this fish, that honey glazing to it, this flavor profile, y'all, this is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's flaky, it's moist. That's absolutely amazing. Hey, I'm Jason Hardy with Elite Barbecue Smokers. And today, the recipe I'm to share with you is this right here, a honey glazed smoked halibut. This right here, I'm gonna take a halibut and add a honey glaze to it and smoke it under rec tech, and the flavors will be unbelievable. So let's get to prep until we get it cooking. Come on. So the fish we're using today for our honey glazed smoked halibut is this right here. It's a halibut. It's Northwest Pacific halibut. This comes from Slate River Farms. From wild caught, it's sustainable. This is a very mild fish. And what it does, it means it can have a lot of flavors. It can accept a lot of flavors to it. So I'm gonna show you today is how to brine this fish. We're gonna brine for about two hours in the refrigerator, and then we're gonna smoke it. We're smoking on rec tech 1250. I want to put a lot of flavor in this fish, but I don't want to be dry. Let me show you guys. First off, open it up. I want you to note some of it. It's a very white fish. As you can see, it's very white. It's a very mild fish. But it's also two different sizes of the flakes. They're both five ounces, but this is a flatter style, kind of more uniform. And this here is more of a thick, kind of a steak style. And what that means is they'll cook a little bit differently. And we could smoke these in the smoker, but we're gonna always focus on them a little bit differently. I don't wanna assume both of them cook the same because this one here is a little bit thicker than this one. It'll cook different. This one's more uniform, so it'll cook different than this one. It tapers from one side to the other. So always when you're cooking the fish in there, make sure you focus on it and you treat it accordingly. So let's open it up and put in a brine. These don't have the skin on them. So just something to keep in mind. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna add about half my water. We're gonna do 20 ounces of water. I'm gonna add about half of it right now. So I add in a quarter cup of sugar and two tablespoons of kosher salt, a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of black pepper. Then we add my honey. I'm gonna add two tablespoons right now. Then I'll add the rest of my water to it. And then I'll add my other two tablespoons of honey at the end of it. I'll put some refrigerator and let this brine for about two hours. I will get all this flavor in this halibut. And then we put on a smoker, we'll smoke it up. Let's get in the refrigerator. So we've had a halibut marinate about two hours. Now we we'll take it out, put it on this rack, and we put it in the smoker. So as you see, it's soaked up that brine. It's got to change color. It went from a white to kind of a brown color. Exactly what you're looking for. The first rub I'm gonna put on here is some Heath Riles garlic butter rub. Good flavor to it. Get a little bit of garlic, a little bit of butter. Don't want to go too heavy on it though. Very lightly. There's a lot of flavor in that brine. We don't want to overpower it. The next cut and go is gonna be the honey rub. This gives us a little bit of sweetness we're looking for and also some good color to it. But again, don't go too heavy on it. Looking for it right there. I'm going to come across the edge on this one. Get it on the smoker. Let's get the party started. Come on. So I'm going to take this and cook this down to Rectech 1250 at 275 degrees. We're using Rectech pellets, good wood flavor pellets to it. I'm going to cook this about 30 minutes. What I'm going to do is get interim temperature of 135 degrees. But what I'm going to go by more of that is actually the flakiness of the fish. If I can take a fork and start pulling it back and it be flaky, that's what I'm looking for. If you're not careful after that, it'll start drying out. We don't want that. It's probing right now, right at 130. Let's see what the flakiness looks like. Just starting to flake. See it starting to pop right there? Just starting to pop on us. This here is not quite there yet. Now I know everybody's gonna say this is white. When you start seeing the white, you're kind of overcooking it. We're not overcooking it. Cause if you can see right there, you can still feel it. It ain't quite there yet. Let it go just a few more minutes. You can see right here, we got a little bit of a flaky going on. So here these come off. Thirty-three. Let's get them off. All right. So we've taken it off the smoker. We brought it inside. We let it rest a while. We add a little bit of honey to the top of it to give it a good color to it and give more of that honey flavor into it. Now we're gonna taste it up. See what it tastes like. You ready? I know I'm ready. Looks good, doesn't it? But I want to show you something other. You see how it's flaky right here? It's starting to pull back on us. That's what we're looking for. We start seeing kind of separate and pull back. That's exactly what we're looking for. That knows that the fish is done. If we get it where it doesn't do that, it's gonna be a little bit underdone, which is fine if that's what you like, but you don't wanna go where it just starts falling apart because then it's gonna to be too dry. Let's taste it up. That's a very beautiful fish, y'all. Holy cow. The sweetness in this fish, that honey glazing to it, with this flavor profile, 
Y'all, this is absolutely amazing. Hey, do me a favor. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you cook your halibut. And let me know what you think about this recipe. If you try the recipe out, tag us and let us know how that turned out. I'm really curious about that. All that being stated, we're going to say the blessing, go inside and eat. But before we do that, we got to let Miss Dolly try it. Miss Dolly, you ready for that? Come on. Come on, girl. She's got a big piece right here. Come on. <laughs> Chased it. Dolly liked it. If Dolly liked it, I know you would too. And I say the blessing. Lord, bless the food by receiving. Just saying, pray. Amen. Hey, this is amazing. Let's check out the video up here. This is a Texas style rib we've done from Snake River Farms, Corabuda Port. It's absolutely delicious. See you there. This is good.